Hello and welcome back my friends. Today we're going to do a walkthrough. We're going to do a walkthrough of my dollhouse miniatures magazine. This is a magazine that I've been subscribed to on and off over the past 30 years. Um, this particular one is um, issue 96. This is a Christmas issue. Even though it doesn't have like a lot of Christmas in the front, um, it is a Christmas issue. It says fine miniature art for devoted collectors here on the top. Um, it goes in for $10.95 in the U.S. and $15.95 in Canada. But I do subscribe to it. You can go online if you like to dhminiatures.com and you can see what they're offering for subscriptions, what have you. And I know normally they give out like a little free gift as well when you subscribe for like two years or something like that. So go check it out. For those of you that are new to the dollhouse community and didn't know that they do have publications, they do, they have publications that are available and, um, it will tell you about different stores, online places, and they even include events that are happening around the United States. They do have some publications available from the United Kingdom. I believe it's called Dollhouse Miniature, Dollhouses Miniature and Scene, and Dollhouse, um, Dollhouse something, I forgot. But they're really nice, but they cost a lot more. So I have a handful of them that I've gotten from eBay. So we got some advertisements and then we have our content right here. So very beautiful. Look at this tree. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this blue tree right here that is so pretty. So once again, this is going to give you a lot to chew on and um, things to give you ideas on how to make and create, which I really love. And of course, you have your welcome here from the editor. Oh, and here's the subscription information. It tells you you can save $45 when you subscribe. So it says one year is $129.99. Um, or you can just get the iMag. That's the one that's paperless that you go online and you check out on your own. It just stays online forever uh, for $45.99. Um, yeah, so there's like two options right there. A tiny magical Christmas village. Look at that. <gasps> that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love wing back chairs. I have this thing, this fascination with wing back chairs. I don't know why, but I do. And look at this a beautiful scene that was created on this little table. See, things like this you could try to recreate on your own. Um, so this is like again great inspiration. And let me bring it up a little a little higher so you can see what I'm talking about. So, and you got great reads, so you can sit back with some tea or some coffee or your favorite beverage and just enjoy. Oh, so this is the front. Okay, so a special place in the world of miniatures by um, Mitchell Bryant. Continue to make miniatures while she was away from home, coping with family health matters. So all this is miniatures, you guys. Even though this looks like a scale to a regular home, this is miniature, believe it or not. Oh, look at that. Can you guys see all this? I'm wondering if you could see everything well. Look at the wall detail. Look, you can see it better here. Look at that wall detail behind there. That is beautiful. And look at the turnings on the chairs and even how the legs sway back and look at the table legs. If you look at the table legs, they actually have, it looks almost like paws at the bottom of it. And all these little details, even the turnings right here that you could see on this furniture, the slats in the back, look at all the detail going all the way around and then how she put everything in there strategically. That it just, it looks so real like you're walking into a regular home. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at the duck and the candlesticks. That is just beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can get a lot of wonderful inspiration from these pages, to say the least. Oh, 
about this. Oh, look at this corner. You can't, I know you can't really truly see it, but it's a beautiful piece over here in the corner of this chair. That is beautiful. And look at the details on this furnishings on the wood. And I love the details on the windows. All these things make such a big difference inside of a house when you don't have all this. You know, if you got a house and if you don't have all this in the inside, you can see the difference in the room itself. But look how different it looks when you're used to seeing that on the outside, but that's actually in the inside. Yeah. And then the, the molding, if you add a really interesting molding, um, it could really upgrade a room. Oh man, this is this is gonna be nice. Sit back and watch. And look at this. Oh, look at that statue of the flying bird. Woo! I can only imagine how much that was. I, I could probably easily say that maybe that was like $150 for something like that, if not more. Wow. And then American Miniaturist magazine. That's the other magazine that I am subscribed to. I'll be doing a walkthrough. This is the Christmas edition. I'll be doing a separate video for this. So you'll see some Christmas. And you see the size of it, just so you can tell. This is more like a purse size compared to a full-size magazine, just so you can tell comparison-wise. Yeah, so you can like carry this with you wherever you go. and Just if you're on the train trying to get to work, what have you. It's a nice little one to have in your, in your bag. So we say, fall into fashion. This is get into step with autumn as we dress for the new season with renowned artisans, Valentina and Valerina Bonini and Gil Bays. Now, I don't know how to make shoes. I don't know how to make any of this, you guys. I, I just don't. So I normally, I just purchase. <laughs> Can't do it myself. So I purchase yeah i've tried i've tried my hands at shoes and i'm just not good at it i am not good at it but look at the detail that is nuts and those look like real tennis shoes and those are miniatures and look at the jeans yeah that's really cool oh and look at the clothing yeah i don't do so well with clothing usually i just try to buy barbie clothes you know oh, that those are a miniature get out of here stop that is just the coolest wow okay and then here they're promoting etsy you got minimum world miniature seller a bunny filled christmas oh i love bunnies now, you know who just showed a bunny theme? Um, Miniatures Cooking and More here on YouTube. Go check her channel out. She does some really cool stuff with things that she has at home. She did share a whole scene with miniature, um, with bunnies. She did one with frogs and something else. And then she was working on a Betty Boop project as well. So it says, um, Mariki Norhok Stooges surprises herself with her very first build as she completes her bunny veranda in festive Christmas style. That's cool. So if you're more of a whimsical person, you can create miniatures with whimsical characters and porcupines and all kinds of things. If you're into that, um, it's really not limited to, you know, anything. It's all about your imagination. I like that right there. Oh, look at the little table setting. They covered it with snow. <laughs> and it has a lot of little Christmas trees everywhere. Little gingerbread houses. Wow, look at that. That is very cute. I like that. And look at even on the detail for the house itself. For the front porch, if you take a peek right here right behind the little bench it has like the air vent for underneath the porch all these little things are like just darling when you see the little details like that because they really and truly even though it's hidden behind a bench it really and truly adds up 
and then they made sure they put it on the opposite side as well. I love that. You can see the little lace curtain up there. Then you have a little um, a little house right there on the ledge. So they made this really nice ledge um, in this beautiful green. So they were able to prop things up there too. That was a very smart thing. So they got real good toys, miniature grand pianos, Anatola Nardi miniatures. All those are listed in here. Then it says miniatures that are posh and lavish. And Antonella Nardi spends most of her days researching and creating lavish miniatures with femininity and grace. So these are beautiful. Wow, look at that. Look at this sink. Wow. That's just taking my breath away. Look how beautiful that is, not including the background wall. And of course, you know, <laughs> these are just insane, um, beautiful, and they're all in miniature. It's crazy. And then even look at the filled trays. It has like a bronze statue there. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look at that picture frame. That is darling. Yeah, that was my phone that made that noise. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, and look at that. I hope you guys can see everything. I was trying to put it so you guys can see everything. Look at the bicycle and the little street sign. Now, I have this, but mine is in white, and it's not, like, um, decorated and distressed. Where is mine? It's, there it is. Look. You see that? I have this. Here's my piece, but you could tell because see, it's the same one. But she painted it and then she distressed it and then she added all these beautiful, beautiful details, including up here. You see how mine's just stopped right here with the little, um, they don't have these beautiful detailed finials with crosses. She added finials with crosses. They look, they look like there were pieces from jewelry that she attached up here at the top. Can you guys see that? Or am I just talking and you guys can't see anything? There we go. So you can see, let me pull it up. See the difference? Yeah, the details. But I do have this piece. Here, let me put my piece back over here on the house. Okay. I'm trying to see if you guys can see this well enough. I hope so. Well, this is just a simple walkthrough. I just want you to get an idea of what it looks like. Look how beautiful that is for those who like the beautiful shabby chic, feminine, lavish type deal. Oh, this is just amazing. Look at that one with the feathers. That is nuts. Oh, wow. And then again, look at these filled trays. And all these things you could try to recreate on your own. And of course, personalize it yourself. I had a little buggy like this in my collection somewhere. I don't have it near me. I think it's inside my closet. Um, but I think I have a buggy similar to this. Obviously, it's not all frilly like this, but it gives me inspiration. Beautiful. And again, a closer look at those closer look at those filled trays that you could recreate yourself oh and look here's that table you see this table right here wait a minute where did I put my table oh dear oh my 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 I have that table you guys I just shared it it was on Timu that little beautiful beautiful table here I'm going to move my stuff here so I can try to find it oh here it is is that it? Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. Yes. This table right here is available on Timu right now. Um, I shared it. I'll try to find the link. You see that? I will try to find the link for you and you can um, use my link to go and make the purchase if it's still available or sign up for notifications if it's sold out. But this is the table. That is it right there. 
me see if I can pull it up for you. Look at that. And this was only like $5 and some change. Do you see what a beautiful piece that is? This is exactly what it is. And I only have one. I want to see if I can get at least another one. Look how beautiful. So I'll list the link down for Timu for this if you like to go and get that. And the other dollhouse miniature Timu items that I had shared previously that are very well worth um, making a purchase on. Because I shared this beautiful, beautiful um, piece as well from there. I'll try to link the video. Oh, yeah, so I have that, I have that table. <laughs> so there we go. Let me make sure you guys can see here. Here we go. All right, and I'll try to speed it up. I know I'm going slow because I'm enjoying watching this and looking at this. Those are the tables right here again. This piece is just the regular bottom half of a regular, um, I have this piece as well, but I have it in a brown wood. She painted it and distressed it and stained it, which you can do yourself as well. And then you have to add like, this like a little bathroom feature and add that little back part to it um yeah this in the back this background that's an actual fabric for um what is it called um is it cross stitch it's a fabric and then you just add it to the back and you get that look okay so these things are doable i do have columns but she embellished these columns I don't have these exact columns, but you could tell she embellished them. And this is, oh my goodness. Ooh, that is a beauty. Wow. She has an eye and some talent. See, I would have to buy something like that. It's just, that would be too hard for me to even try to wrap my head around to create. That's just, yeah. Okay, so now we're going into bringing miniatures to the mainstream. So here we have a very interesting one, this uh, Mark Murphy's Japanese tea chest. So Mark Murphy works in museums. And actually he says, you're about to see him on television. So he's coming out on some show. Cool. But look at that piece. Isn't that beautiful? That's a tea chest, Japanese tea chest. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. See, this is something I would love to have. And look, that's even holding on to the spoons. I wonder if I could, you know, get my husband to, to do that to one of my little cabinets that I have. So I could put some spoons and forks like that. That's such a cool idea. Oh, and look at that chair. Get out of here. That is beautiful. So he's been creating miniatures for over 40 years, and he's very well known. Oh, that looks like tiger wood. Wow, I am like speechless. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. Look at that table set. Now, this is beautiful. Of course, that's just, you know, you're going to pay a couple of hundred thousand, not a hundred thousand, a couple, a couple of hundred dollars for this. This, I don't know. It's like these kind of pieces kind of just take my breath away. Um, they're not your standard pieces that you would see. And look at this, what he created. This chair that turns into almost like a tree and it has the birds and it has a nest and everything. Oh, that is crazy cool oh and look at the details on that one and look at that it's just they're just beautiful and there's that tiger wood one wow and he's working in my scale and 112 scale honey yes oh oh wow look at that Look at that rug. That is so pretty. If I saw this rug in real in real life, I I don't know if I would like it or not, but I see it in this room scene and I'm like all about it. I am totally all about it. 
See, that's why I like looking at different things because now if I ever saw something like this, a fabric, I would buy it because I know I could incorporate it and I would like it. Now, even though this furniture is more on the chunky side, it kind of reminds me of um, I, Strombecker, um, Strombecker furniture. It's a little bit more older. It's sturdier looking like this. It's like a thicker style, um, not as, for example, do I have, I don't have any Strom, any of my Strom pieces here, right here in front of me, but I do have like two or three, but let me give you an example. Okay. Okay. You see how this chair, this is one of my chairs that I got from eBay, you know, many, 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 many moons ago. And look, it's even made in China. Look, you no know, in Taiwan. But if you see the turnings, you can see the design that they incorporated here in the middle. You see how the leg doesn't go straight down. It sways out. It has a bend. See, it's not straight. It has a bend. Um, and of course, this is turned here as well. It has beautiful turning. All these details mean so much versus, I don't know if I have um, something that's straight. No, that's no. I'm looking around. I don't see anything that I could just grab right now. But it means such a big difference in a room seeing all these little, you know, because you could tell I had to re-glue that right there. It broke. But it makes such a big difference in a room scene, um, all these little details. And people will take note of that. They will notice the, the, these little small details. They will. So let me, I know. It's a beautiful piece though, right? Yeah. I put that back over here. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. So I do have, like I said, I, I do have like, I think two or three pieces of, um, of that kind. Uh, but mine doesn't have that circle. It's mine's a little bit different. And this is another chunkier piece here holding this beautiful hat box. Uh, you know, it, they coordinated this room beautifully with the stronger pieces, these thicker style pieces. Now look at that little sweet detail with the chests on top of that corner piece. Would you ever think about doing that in a room? Probably not. But look, you can do it and get away with it. Because look how cool that looks. Now this light right here, I have this. This you can get from Timu as well. This hanging light. It's not a working light. Well, it can be working. I took off the wires. Um, but uh, I have this. And this was Timu. Just so you know. If I could find the links for it, I'll, I'll try to link it up. Okay, let's keep going. That's a fun little kid's room. And look how they have almost like Noah's Ark with the animals. That's pretty cool. And then I always have, okay, you see how this room scene right here? Very nice room scene. It has, this is like a wood wing back chair, which is very cool looking. Um, no, it doesn't look like it has any type of fabric on it, but rather just painting. That is cool. And this one looks very nice too. It's like a stronger, thicker style piece. And then you have your secretariat there and you could tell she was, there's a lady there. She might've been typing and it looks like she's going somewhere cause she's got a bag, but the interesting thing. And then we have this really cool wall art here, a stronger, thicker piece back here, which is working well because of these solid pieces. Um, whenever you see a room scene and it has children, it has a person in it. You normally don't see people in my doll houses. I do have people and I actually have an artisan made doll that I paid like 400 and something dollars, almost $500 to, for it to be created, um, by an artisan. I normally don't have people in my room scene because my eyes just go straight to the dolls or to the lady or to a butler or a man or, you know, um, and I feel like the room gets lost. Right here, these houses, I have some wooden houses um, that are like in this shape. They're a little bit bigger that I found at a, at a thrift store. So these are a fun, cool thing. 
Oh my gosh, miniature leather treasures. Look at that. Somebody that knows how to work with leather. That is amazing. Look, they all look like um, signature bags. Wow, that is so cool. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, that is amazing. So pretty. And look at that hat. Get out of here. <gasps> look how the look how they made that one. It has all look look at that. And it even has that detail up there at the top. And look at the corners. Wow. And that one opens up. Oh, that is so cool. That's the one that opens up. Look what's inside. Oh, that is gorgeous. And look at this one. The travel case. Wow. That is very, very cool. Now we have glorious mini Christmas trees. I was waiting to see something Christmas related. <laughs> So here it is. Here's your Christmas related um, item here. Very nice. And I'm, I know, it's like I'm looking at the details here. It has a little, some sporadic pearls glued in there. That's really pretty. And I like how they did the little swirly dupes just hanging from the sides. Maybe I could do that. It has some cloisonne beads here. And then you got some of your regular little plastic beads, some pearls, some smaller ones. And then I love the packages. Look how beautiful those bows are. I can't make those bows. I would have to buy those. So pretty. Oh, and look at this one. This one has slippers and is pink themed. Carmen's Treasures would love this. Go check out Carmen's Treasures. Um, I think she changed her name to her channel though. She still might come up underneath Carmen's treasures. She does dollhouse miniatures as well as in other crafts. She does everything shabby chic, um, pink, white, very pretty. She has a really lovely collection as well. This is totally her right here. Totally her. I could see miniatures, miniature cooking and more doing this because she can create some really cool things as well oh wow look at these trees now in my community page i just listed two people that created some beautiful trees um by hand amazing go check it out it's in my community page on my channel just go to my channel and then there's across the top it'll show you playlists community page videos lives hit community page and you'll see the tutorials that I found on YouTube but these are so much fun look at these look at that blue one that would be really nice for a um, for a house or I have a lighthouse in the basement um, that I have to bring up a dollhouse miniature lighthouse. This would be a really cool one to have in that one. Wow. These are just everything. Okay, a centerpiece for the holiday table. Yeah, they usually have a DIY. Um, this one doesn't have as many DIYs as American miniaturists. They usually have more DIYs, just to give you a heads up. But this is showing you how to how to create a really pretty miniature little scene here for your table. Tell a story with mini wall tapestries. Now this I'm interested in. I love wall tapestries. And here they look like they've been printed on paper. Use a computer printout to make some faux tapestries that are perfect to hang on the walls of a castle or a large estate or fancy, fancy decor. Now, I do have a room box that's in my closet that I created. There was like a um, castle scene and it kind of got messed up within my different moves because it was made out of foam core board. I'm going to see if I could try to 
show it to you, but this would be a lovely addition to it if I could get it fixed again because it kind of like collapsed because it's just foam core board. But I remember when I created it, it took a lot of time with measurements and getting it just right. But this is like, look, you just print it on printer paper and you can have these beautiful tapestries. Yeah. I know I have like this little fruit flies. We got some fruit that um, came with little friends. <laughs> got fruit flies. Really, uh, yeah, we're at the tail end of it. But they've made their way upstairs. Um, make some clay free cakes and pies. So here I'm showing you how to make food. And then we have letters from people then they're sharing some of their collection. Now I've never shared my tin house that I found at the thrift store. I want to say ooh, six, seven, eight, seven months ago, maybe six months ago. It's in need of help because it does have some rust. It is tin, but it's not a two floor like this. This is an amazing, beautiful tin house. Um, it's a one level. Mine's a one level. But it does need some help. Making your own rules. Making your own rules with miniatures. Okay, so this is super cool. Now, I do have a Chase Lounge, um, but mine is red. Mine is not this beautiful cream color. Um, oh, look at those. Oh, this is beautiful. I would love to have a room like this in my house. It would never survive because of all the China <laughs> with my boys. It wouldn't last. But this a beautiful blue on the wall, it's, it is striking. And then down here you have a kitchen, a working kitchen that you might find in a larger estate, a mansion, or a castle. This is going to be a nice article to read. I'm going to have fun with that. Oh, look at these unusual tall back chairs. Look at that. Again, yeah, that's something that you would find like in a larger house. In a larger estate looking house. These unusual, really unique, beautiful pieces. This is beautiful. And look at all that tucking. Even one, two, three... Wow, look at that. And even right here, the front of the handles are wood. Like, they have a beautiful turned wood detail. And look how beautiful that piece right in between them is. That is beautiful. Now, this is a bathroom. Okay, bathrooms. I have a thing about bathrooms. Most of my houses do not have bathrooms because I'm just not a bathroom person. I don't know why. I'm not into bathrooms in my dollhouses. I just don't feature them. In my houses, I just, I just don't, for whatever reason, I don't like them. <laughs> but I, was, I did buy a bathroom set. I do have like, now I have like two bathroom sets that I could try to incorporate maybe. I'm still battling it out if I want to take up a whole room to showcase a bathroom. So you will normally not see a bathroom in my houses. And look at that. That is the coolest. Look at that. It's supposed to be like a garage and they're like, getting this car together oh wow look at this house here oh i've always wanted to have a tutor <gasps> oh if i could get my house on a tutor this is a small tutor i always wanted one of those three and four yeah three or four floors worth of a tutor i don't have a tutor i would love to get a tutor but um look at the outside work of it it's the outside of a Tudor house alone is the work is just amazing. So if you ever wanted to replicate, try to create one yourself, you could just look at a picture, then um, try to create consistent measurements going across to cut out the wood pieces and what have you to create the type of uh, wood Tudor look you want. Oh, I want a Tudor so bad. Oh, look at these rooms. This is a group of online needle workers. Oh, man. Look at all that work. 
I hope you guys can see it. Look at that carpet. This carpet's needlework. All that is needlework. Look at that. Look at that needlework. Look. Look at that. Oh, wow. Even like they did the cozies. <gasps> they did the cozies on the teapots. Oh, I live. I don't have a, a teapot cozy. I don't. I have little teapots, but no cozies. Okay, greeting a cozy cottage for Christmas. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at that. Look at this fireplace. I mean, I love this. This filled um, secretariat. Even has a feather ink well, ink pen. I don't see the ink well. Maybe the ink well is somewhere behind there. Um, this is very unique. Look, look how this separated those two rooms there. The table looks like this was uh, little knobs. That is so cool. And look at the front of this fireplace. Look at the sides. Oh, those are very rustic. Those are very rustic. They definitely have a definitive design there. That's just so different and unique. And the candlesticks. They created this out of beads. Look, they made it out of beads. That's a little pink bead, a little white bead. No, it's not even a bead. That's a that's a top of a thumbtack. Do you see all these little things? Girl, miniatures cooking and more. Come on, honey. You gotta send your pictures in, honey. Oh man, that is so cool. She does all that. Look at this. It's like you really have to look really good into the pictures to see what things are made out of. I mean, I'm going to read the article and it's going to share. But, um, yeah. Okay, so make some miniature bobbles in a box. I've done that before. I've made this little box right here. And then I put in little beads. Yeah, those are fun. Then I keep the plastic from different packages and then I just cover it up right there. Yeah. And then here we have a cutout. Photocopies of this cutout page may be used for personal use only. So you can create this really cool book. So we got some books. We have some paintings that you can cut out and use in your own dollhouse for personal use only. And then it has this beautiful background paper as well. And that is everything. And that's the back for this walkthrough for dollhouse miniatures magazine i hope you guys enjoyed i'll try to put the links down to the timu items that i know are available that, we, that were shown in here that you can click on and go and buy okay so i'm glad i looked through here it was a lot of fun i'll talk to y'all later bye